Hendricks here on the running towards Brundle and Nelson. Stephen Davies. <laughs> Easy. Stop it. Fourth position, fifth place is Guy Davis. Sixth at the moment is going to be Ian Jones from eighth on the grid. And then after Ian Jones, it's going to be the number 27 car of Ian House. It's there in seventh position. Eighth place is Paul McGuire. Ninth place is the number 15 car, which is Jim Barrett. He's up from 12th. So that's been a good first lap from him. Um, Matt Flowers has dropped three places and he's gone from seventh down to tenth position at the end of the first lap of the race. But everybody, I think, now exception is safely through the first lap of the race. The price is still on though for second and third place because Ben Huntley, the pole sitter, is under enormous pressure from Mikey Doval who's going to try the outside line on the way in towards Agostini to try and cut back I would imagine on the exit of the corner and has made it stick as well so Mikey Doval up into second place. Ben Huntley down into third position. Fourth place is going to be Reese Clayden that still sits there in fourth. Well, sorry, it's now a Ben Guy Davis that's there in fourth position. Fifth place is Ian Jones, and I think Reese Clayden has lost out a few more places there and has dropped further down through the order. So we'll have to wait and see as to exactly where Reese Clayden ends up at the end of this particular lap. Certainly over the start finish line, he was running in fourth place. I think he might be down to fifth, possibly even sixth by the end of the lap. Down the Bentley straight go the race leaders once more. Stephen Daly leading by one and three quarter seconds. <laughs> ahead of Guy Davis on this lap. Then it's the next of the cars, which is going to be the number 27 car in the hands of Ian Howes, who moves up into sixth position that time through. Rhys Clayton dropped to seventh. He lost three places. I thought he might lose two. He's actually lost three, I'm afraid to say. Paul Maguire still wraps up the top eight at the moment. Matt Flowers is now back up into ninth place, down to tenth. All of a sudden goes Jim Barrett. But wherever you look, it's difficult. BMW Compact Cup fashion, there are fights to be had. Leaders, though, just started to work their way out of parlour. Top three getting away from what is a fantastic battle for fourth position. The black car with the pink bumpers is the car in the hands of Ian Jones. He's got the day glow yellow and purple car of Guy Davis sitting behind him in fifth place. Guy Davis is coming under attack from the next of the cars through. That is going to be the car of number 28, which is no, not number 28, that is going to be the car of Reese Clayden, I think, who's worked his way back up through the order again, as he has Reese Clayden, bit of a bit of a yo-yo race. And then behind him is going to be the next of the cars, which is going to be Ian Howes, I think. I think that's the way that one's working at the moment, but they keep shuffling the order every time I look up. They've changed the order again once more. So, onto the Bentley straight. Yet again goes our race leader. The lead advantage came down by about a tenth of a second that time through because Mikey Doble popped in the fastest lap of the race that we've seen so far, 2 minutes and 24. <laughs>
Davis. Guy Davis in the Dayglobe yellow car in fifth place. Sixth place is going to be Reese Claydon going well again, as we say, up into sixth place now at the expense of Ian Howes, who dropped back down to seventh place. Paul Maguire, Matt Flowers, and Jim Barrett wrap up the top ten currently. I think everybody's still circulating as well. Not lost a single car as yet. Just waiting for the final car to come over the start finish line. Or have we lost one? Have we lost potentially one somewhere? The number 33 car is yet to come through, which is Ian Shepherd. In fact, he's into the pit lane. That's why. So Ian Shepherd comes into the pit lane. That is our first pit visitor or retiree of the race so far. Now for fourth place, Ian Jones is really having to work hard here. Guy Davis, I think, might just lose out here as Reese Clayton looks to try and sneak through up the inside, heading in towards Hamilton. Can he make it through? Yes, he has. So uh, Reese Davis, uh, Reese Clayton rather, gaining one place and now Guy Davis is offline which opens up the door for the next of the cars to try and squeeze its way through which is going to be Ian Howes I think who might go through and if Ian Howes goes through then the door might be open also for Paul Maguire at the win of the Car Chase Heroes and supported car to try and pull a move so I think poor old Guy Davis who qualified third came over the start finish line in what fifth could well be down towards potentially eighth if he's not careful at the end of the 